This is going to be for went to the pitch of the ball. Then aggressive minded batter, Sean Kishan. Oh, interesting shot this and just ran it too much. And a few more extra runs for India. Oh, what a shot that is. He plays it well, great position. Fine shot. Gets to the boundary. And that's a 50. Ishan Kishan. And it's a quality innings. It came in where the fast bowlers were on fire. And that's why everyone's standing up. Still early days for him in 50 years cricket. Been a really good innings. Well done. And now it's Hardik Pandya's turn to raise the bat. 50 of 62 balls, a measured innings. An important one for India. Brilliant comeback by Hardik Pandya and Ishan Kishan helped the Blues set a 267 run target after a less than ideal start against Team Pakistan in the ongoing Asia Cup. But Reigns played spoiled sport and the big match was called off in Kandy. And of course, we have all the updates just for you. Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Follow the Blues, the only show that gets you closer to your favourite stars. In a fabulous display of courage and determination, all-rounder Hardik Pandya and the dynamic Ishan Kishan smashed an incredible 138-run stand to get Team India's innings back on track in the 2023 Asia Cup. Hardik showed incredible composure and maturity as he anchored the crucial innings. The all-rounder top scored for the Blues with 87 runs against Team Pakistan. So how does Hardik handle pressure at the biggest stage? He tells us in an exclusive interview. Simple is sir. Uh, pressure is uh, you throw against the ball. Um, how do you come out of it? Now, staying at the ball, does it help you? No. But trying, it helps you. Yeah, it does not guarantee you, but it helps you, right? So for me, it is like, even if I know that things are looking very difficult, um, I would still throw punches, I'll, st I'll still try to do something to get out of it as because there is nothing impossible. Even the word says, uh, I am possible. So, I always see the uh, half glass full rather than half glass empty. So, whenever situation comes, a tough situation comes, I like to take the challenge on at the same point of time, cherish that. Because in I remember, I, I know once I stop playing, that would be, a, I don't know how many years more. Once I stop playing, all these memories will stay longer for me. So, yeah, pressure game, you know, it's good to be, you know, you get a chance to be a hero. मैनेज करना काम होता है प्रैक्टिस में जब ग्राउंड पे हम जाते हैं वो मैनेज वाला वर्ड निकल जाता है एंड एस एस ऑल राउंडर्स माय वर्क लोड इस ट्राइस और ट्वाइस इफ ना आई एम नॉट रॉंग देन एनीवन एस व्हेन अ बैटर इन अ टीम गोज एंड बैट्स एंड फिनिशेस इस बैटिंग एंड मेबी इस हेडिंग होम आई so uh, for me, all the managing, all the uh, you know pushing and everything happens during my sessions, or my training, or my pre-camp uh, season. When it when the game arrives, it is more about whatever the team is required, and um, the managing side goes out of the park, and it is more practical calls that how many overs are needed for me, uh, because if. 10 overs are not needed, there is no point of me bowling 10 overs. But if 10 overs are needed, then I will be bowling. See, generally, it happens with me on big days, uh, the big matches and all that, which um, I generally get sense of feeling of, mainly knockouts or big games, because that is somewhere where I always believe that, you know, today is the day. And, Generally, I don't. A difference, nahi hai, lekin, yes, I understand where you're coming from. There are a couple of days where you feel like it is your day, but more often than not, I always believe that I give myself a chance to succeed, which is by which is by reading the game, which is by backing myself. Because I've always believed that when we go as a bowler, when I'm standing there, yes, the 10, 10 people are my 10 players, my 10 brothers are around me. But at the same point of time, I'm alone. Uh, while bowling, I have to do what so. Um, I have to back myself to the fullest because the whole opposition, the whole batter, they all want me to make mistakes. 
and at the, at the same point of time as a batter i yes two people are batting he's there with me fighting but but there are other 11 on the ground who are against me at the same point of time could be crowd anything so uh what i've realized is that no matter what happens you have to back yourself you have to believe that you are the best in the world that does not guarantee you success but at the same point of time it does give you or it does guide you towards the success so yeah practically back yourself So what could Rohit Sharma and Virat Kohli have done differently against Shaheen Afridi and has Ishan Kishan now cemented his spot in Team India's ODI squad? Our expert and former India cricketer Gautam Gambhir has all the answers. Probably Rohit could have been a bit more aggressive could have gone towards the ball more he was stuck on the crease and that's the reason why there was a bat the gap between bat and bat from Virat's point of view he was neither forward neither back it was kind of a nothing shot could have been a bit more probably decisive could have left that ball or could have looked to attack it because that was a half kind of a shot even if he would have played that shot he wouldn't have got a lot of runs so for me i think when you're in good zone either you look to attack or you look to defend uh, but uh, this thing can happen when you're playing against a quality bowler like Shaheen Shah Afridi he will test you he will test your footwork as well so i'm sure i think going forward i think whether it's virat or whether it's rohit i think they're going to try and be they were uh, getting to better positions and try and look for runs brilliant absolutely brilliant i thought that the kind of it's not really about the amount of runs they scored between both of them and the kind of partnership it's just the way they had that partnership look in absolute control never at any point uh, we felt that uh, they were not under control and they they played the situation really well whenever there was an opportunity they did attack whenever there was a loose ball they did uh, score runs against those loose deliveries so for me i think it's a great sign when your number 5 and number 6 can play that kind of an innings because it takes a lot of pressure off the top order his form and the most important thing is that he hasn't fiddled with his form the most important thing is he's got three half centuries in west indies and then he's coming back here uh, obviously kl is injured that's why he got that opportunity batted at number 5 which he's never batted and the way he batted the way he batted against pace the way he batted against spin and he was tested when he came into bat india were 50 or for 3 then india got 60 or for 4 and then uh, playing in innings like that where he could dominate and was in complete control whether he was defending whether he was attacking so i felt that it is great sign that if he can continue this form i think it's going to be great asset for indian uh, batting lineup for me he's a starter and not not only in asia cup but in the world cup as well i think india is going to make a massive blunder if they don't start with ishan kishan one thing because he has form and second he's a proper wicket keeper so for me i think form really matters and if even if you want to play him in the middle order might as well just play him all the games at number 5 and then play the australia series and play the warm up games and more importantly you got a left hander in the middle and on top of that you got a proper wicket keeper now batting at number 5 for the first time ishan kishan smashes fourth consecutive half century no the eyes ishan is now only the second keeper batter after his idol ms dhoni to record four consecutive odi 50s Consider Team India's backup opener, the keeper batter featured at the number five spot in ODIs after replacing first choice keeper KL Rahul in the side. So how does Ishan adapt his game to different situations in limited overs, and how has Coach Ravid's guidance helped shape his batting? Let's hear from Ishan Kishan himself. There's a lot of place for improvement और मेरा यही मानना है कि अभी जब भी मैं खेलता हूँ मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि बहुत से ऐसे जगह है जहाँ पर मैं इम्प्रूव कर सकता हूँ और आने वाले टाइम पर अगर हम लोग जैसे एक साथ जो भी प्लेयर्स और जैसा टीम है जैसे मैं हूँ गिल हो गया और हम लोग एक दूसरे को हेल्प भी करते हैं ऑफ द फील्ड भी वी टॉक अबाउट क्रिकेट कि कैसे कर सकते हैं ऋतु है बहुत सारे प्लेयर्स हैं तो हमारा मेन मोटिव यही होता है कि अभी से अगर हम लोग अभी सीखना चाहते हैं शुरू करते हैं अच्छे से वी टॉक अबाउट क्रिकेट की कैसे इम्प्रूव कर सकते हैं एक दूसरे को हेल्प कर सकते हैं और नेक्स्ट टू ईयर्स में वी कैन शो अ बेस्ट बेस्ट गेम वो मुझे अंडर 19 क्रिकेट से देखते आ रहे हैं तो मेरा उनसे मोस्टली क्रिकेट को लेके वो कभी किसी बैट्समैन की टेक्निक में नहीं घुसते हैं कि यूजुअली गोज एंड हेल्प देम विद द मेंटल स्टेटस कि वो कैसा बैट्समैन सोच रहा है एंड हाउ ही शुड बी इन द नेक्स्ट फ्यू मैचेस तो मैं उनसे ये सब बात करता हूँ बट ओबियसली 
जो भी बातें वो करते हैं इट्स वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर एनी यंगस्टर कमिंग फ्रॉम सच अ बिग प्लेयर जिन्होंने काफ़ी कुछ अचीव किया है कंट्री के लिए तो काफ़ी अच्छा लगता है उनसे बात करने में क्या ओबियसली इट्स ऑलवेज सो कॉम्पिटेटिव इन दिस फील्ड जहाँ पे वी आर ट्राइंग कि ओबियसली बैक ऑफ द माइंड में हम लोग के रहता है कि वर्ल्ड कप है और हमें कैसा परफॉर्म करना है बट हमारा मेन मोटो है कि अभी जो मैचेस है हम लोग लेट्स टेक सीरीज बाय सीरीज और ज्यादा आगे का सोचते नहीं है ईशान किशन एटी टू रन नॉक है फैंस ग्रूविंग इन कैंडी बैटिंग एट नंबर फाइव फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम द कीपर बैट अ शेयर क्रूशल वन थर्टी एट रन पार्टनरशिप विद हार्दिक पांड्या So what did the fans say about Ishan's performance with the bat? Star Sports is Tanay Tiwari has all the updates. Here in the stands in Palikeli and the Indian fans are just <laughs> all smiles because of that one man Ishan Kishan. How good was Ishan Kishan today man? If I just describe in one words I think he was just amazing, unbelievable. I almost you know was about to give up my expectation from the team after you know back to back wickets uh, gone but then I think the moment he came the first ball he hit on the bat I think that was the moment I felt there is something with him so I think he's winning my heart and not just mine I think millions heart he's winning billions billions of hearts for Ishan Kishan now we all know that had KL Rahul been fit Ishan Kishan wouldn't have made it to this 11 that's how competitive the environment is you think after this knock he deserves a longer rope definitely means 77 runs four wickets and suddenly ishan kishan showed that that he is one of that player which he can play a good inning which he played today and i would definitely look forward to see him in next match as i don't i don't mind kl will be also there and if ishan is also there definitely we going to enjoy that innings yeah everybody enjoys it the problem of plenty that india have but the question is today he batted in the middle order yep. would you like him as an opener though that explosive knock has an opener you never know or is this fine for you i think i think he understands the situations very well uh, he looked very confident very settled and you know he was middling the ball very well so i think even if he comes as an opener I think he would he would be successful and I think uh he would he, he can open and he can even uh, come one down as well. So yeah. That's how versatile he is Ishan. All of these faces had gotten very tense when India were four down and then you came and you lit them up like this. Look at these yeah. smiles. Yeah. 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 Because of you Ishan. And yeah, yeah, Ishan. Kill it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for this evening. You saved us. That's all we have lined up for you on this episode of Fall of the Blues. Don't forget to share your views and opinions with us on social media using the hashtag Fall of the Blues. And we will see you on the next India match day on 4th September at 9 a.m. on the Star Sports Network. You can also subscribe to our social media channels at the rate Star Sports India to watch Fall of the Blues. So until we meet again, it's goodbye for now.